This is the plaintiff, Olivia Vedder. She says she hired the defendant to build her a fence to protect her dogs from the wildlife in Washington State. The guy took her money, he did some of the work, and then poof, he never came back. She refuses to let him get away with downright stealing from her and is suing for the $5,000 she's most certainly owed. This is the defendant, Mark Boatler. He says the plaintiff became paranoid when he had to miss work and go to the hospital with an eye infection, then claimed he was lying because she couldn't find him when she went there. He did most of this woman's work. He's not going back, and he was never paid in full, so he isn't returning anything to her. He's accused of not fencing in a customer. All parties, please raise your right hand. People's Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Marilyn Leon is now presiding. Litigants have been sworn in. Oops, sorry. Oops, oops. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All righty. Um, Ms. Vetter, what's going on? Um, hello, Your Honor. Um, I live in Arizona, and uh, after my father passed away, I was taking care of him. Um, I loaded my mom, my two dogs, in a car, and we went to a small um, a and you, place. And you, we had I'm sorry, Washington you loaded State. them in the car and went where? I'm sorry about your loss, by the way. From, from, thank you very much. Um, from Arizona to Washington State. Okay. To the Long Beach Peninsula, where I have a small uh, place. Okay. When I got to the house, I quickly realized that um, the little two dogs I had I uh, had a very difficult time being uh, outside. Uh, there was a lot of wildlife out there. And also my husband was supposed to come back with a third dog, which is a really big and very serious hunting dog. He has a Russian wolfhound. So they needed to be enclosed. Um, I needed to build a fence around the property. So you decided that you needed a fence around your property for the dogs? As soon as possible, okay. yes. So because you... my husband could not come uh, without the fence to be put in with okay. the third dog. All right, so... Um, uh, so I saw Mark working on a neighbor's property, installing a fence, which is a logical thing. And he was really doing a really good job. I was impressed by the fence and the quality of work. And... Uh, I contacted him, I gave him my phone number, told him where I lived, and um, uh, he came by the house uh, after he was done with this project. And um, he told me, uh, he quoted me uh, $2,500 uh, to install uh, a privacy fence in the back. It's a six foot uh, wooden fence, a privacy fence from my next door neighbors, and a uh, chain link fence around the property with the rolling chain link gate um, and the cement pad uh, to park the car inside the perimeter. I wrote up the contract, uh, he signed it. Uh, we agreed on three installments uh, of $2,500 to be split in three installments. How much did you pay him and when did you pay him? I paid him total $1,700, uh, $850 on 722, the original date when we came into the agreement. And then the next payment was supposed to be paid at what progress? Um, it was supposed to be paid on uh, Sunday, July 25th. So it was based on timing, not on progress. All right, so what did he get done before the problem arose? I have to uh, correct that. Uh, there, uh, it specified that the job to be completed by uh, 726 of 21. Okay, now here's my question. And, and what did he get done before a problem happened? Uh, the very next day, he came in, uh, with his helper and uh, uh, they uh, brought in 18 uh, metal posts and a few bags of cement and he cemented in uh, some of the posts. And was there a problem with the work he did do? The posts were installed in a jagged line, not evenly, and also they were installed in a sections that were different. There were it was different distance between them. Okay. So did you bring that up to his attention? I could not because he no longer. Was okay. There. So what happened? You fired him. Why? I did not 
fire him. I was in communication trying to get him to come back and correct his job and finish the job. Okay, I'm going to ask uh, you then, Mr. Buffler, what happens with Ms. Vetter? Uh, You get a phone call from her saying what? No, ma'am. I did not get a phone call from Ms. Vetter. The last thing I received from her was a video of the Ilwaco uh, Hospital because I went there because I have an eye infection because of the area we live in. And uh, she shows me a video of the inside of the hospital and wonders why I'm not there. She went to the hospital to check up on your story that you went to the hospital? Yes, ma'am, she did. She even showed me a video and then wanted to know why why I wasn't there. And I, I was there. They're not going to give you any information yeah, on a patient unless you are. text message past that point uh, between the two of us. She sends you a video telling you that she's in the lobby and you're not a registered patient. And you find that a little peculiar. What do you say to her? I don't say anything. So tell me what you happens. Know. Okay, I went ahead and started the job. I got it going. And I planted all the posts. And I left my equipment there my post hole digger, my chainsaw, and a shovel and a bar. I left it there. Okay, I came back with fence material, all the top rail and all that, because I had the posts in. And the next day she sent me a text that I had stolen some tools from her. They were my tools. I loaded them up, I emptied them there because I needed to go pick the fence material up. Picked the fence material up and I got my tools. I found it kind of creepy when she sent me a video from the hospital. That's kind of when I'm going, okay, uh, what's gonna happen next? So when you put in the, can I ask you, I'm fascinated by how things went wrong, but I wanna ask you, uh, in terms of the work that you did do, did you put, you you positioned the posts how far away from each other? Posts were positioned 10 feet apart, Your Honor. Exactly 10 feet apart, each one? Yeah, yeah, 10 feet apart. If you have 111 feet, Okay, you're going to have that many posts. Okay, so I'd like to see the text that she uh, sent you where you say she accuses you of stealing. You guys didn't happen to take some of our gardening tools with you. They were in the yard on Sunday, and the only visitors we show on video cameras were you two in an orange Chevy truck. And he answers, no, the only tools I picked up were mine. Other than that, no. I'm still feeling like blank, Libby. I'm going to the hospital. To which you answer, I hope you will be okay. Are you staying with Roger? Is there anyone to take care of you? I can take you to the hospital if he's busy. There were quite expensive bunch of tools in the front yard, right where you picked up your bag from lunch. No, I'm good. I'm on my way there. And you answer, no, there was nothing there even when we unloaded the fence post. Notably, it's talking about gardening tools, nothing about a a chainsaw. It doesn't sound like she's accusing you of stealing them. She's asking about something that's missing. Is it... Now she's accusing you think- of stealing them because now she's suing you for them. So now she is accusing you of stealing them. But is, is it possible? Yes, so we have a picture here of the work that he did. And you sent this picture into evidence because in it you want me to see that there's not a whole lot done. According to you, what did he do? Just put in posts and he didn't put them well. They had to be pulled out. Correct, Ms. Vetter? Correct. Okay. Correct. So uh, what am I looking at here, Mr. Bottler? Why are there zigzag holes or whatever that's not the original fence line right there she had me change that so you I mean you made a straight made... line right in front of the property right but i'm but not there's understand... also a five foot easement there hold on there's hold also on. a five foot not... easement wait there stop that stop stop why does it look like a gopher was here i feel like i'm in <laughs> yes, yes ma'am you dig it you dig yeah. it you got to dig a two foot hole for a post they they allow for that then you fill it up with car there we go all right um <laughs> Yes, I know that you have to dig a two-foot hole for a post. I'm, I'm wondering why they're on two different planes. Was it supposed to be in the one spot and she changed her mind? Or what is it you're trying to tell me? No, what I thought what I thought she wanted was me to outline the property line. So that's what I did. She I don't then know. Do you see it. the picture I'm, lo- I'm showing you? Okay, so you thought she wanted the fence at a certain point, and then she said, no, that's not where I want it. That's what happened. Uh-huh. And okay. I changed it, yeah. Okay, now that's, she's that complaining right. that they they still aren't equidistant, that they're in random spots. And she has a picture that I do want you to explain to me because it is kind of strange. Here's the picture. And then here is, well, these, they do look equidistant. Uh, I 
can't quite tell there. Ah, these, they don't look so equidistant. Which ones are you talking about? I mean, there's Gate a bigger post? distance between this post and that post than there is in the other post. Is that because, why is that? There's a gate that goes there. Gotcha. No, that's not the side for the gate. Well, where would be the side for the gate? Otherwise, it would be in your backyard. There was a there person, was no, there was a people gate that I put in there. Gate. All right, so what happens when you send a video of them telling you, no, he's not a patient here? Why are you doing that? Why did you go to the hospital and check on him and then take a video to, to tell him he's a liar? Why did you do all that? When... Um, Mark was there with his friend the last time, it was on Sunday. Uh, they had about an hour in my yard and the chainsaw, I did not notice it was missing. It was on the side of the house. So I, it, I didn't mention anything because I didn't see it missing yet. They, uh, Which just uh, means that got, you don't know where you leave your chainsaws. It just means that there's I many got, more days where you have no idea where it was or... And, but, and yet you're accusing him of stealing it because you're suing him for $300 for your chainsaw. When the last time we were there was on Sunday. They had to wait for me uh, to come back with the money. And it was an expected amount of money that he requested without performing any work that day or the day before. And uh, he, um, I got a strange feeling that, um, that, that like a hinky hair is in my back and the back of my neck was standing up. Um, that he he is ripping me off and he's going to be going after that. So next day when he started telling me that uh, he is sick and I gave him COVID and... Uh, wait, wait, where does he, he tell you that you gave him COVID? I read the text. I didn't see that. Your Honor, I she happened to be sick that day. Okay. All right. So you did say that. All right. So go on. So he, uh, I got the feeling that he's not going to... So you chased, uh, so you went to the hospital so, to verify his story I, that he was no, sick and no, had to go when, to hospital? When he, no, no, no. When he told me that he is, that I, that, I, that he's sick and he's going to hospital because I gave him COVID, I actually was concerned because uh, I felt guilty. And I was Did concerned. you? So you and went to the hospital afraid. to do what? I wanted to see if he needs anything. Really? That was that's my, why, so that's well. why. That's why you videotaped sure, the lady saying he's not a patient here and then sent it to him so you could show him to be a liar was, because you was, think he's trying to pull sir, one on you. Now, the day that you, you also followed him to his house, right? I did. Okay, tell me about that. Well, he knows where I live and uh, the first date and uh, I knew very, I knew nothing about him. So I just thought it's only fair for me to know where he stays. Were you, according to you, you were a cop for many years and did undercover work. How long were you a cop? Were you a police officer? Um, yes. How long were you a police officer? Um, a decade and a half. Okay, and why did you resign? I did not resign. I got severely beaten up and injured. And uh, uh, after working light duty, I was unable to perform my duties as a police officer any longer. Okay. How long ago was that? That was 2010, the injury. I retired a few years ago. Okay. Let's talk about what you did once you send that video. What is, does he say to you, okay, I'm not coming back now, or nobody says anything? Like, how do you two terminate things? I went and I filed uh, a theft report because I believe he stole my, my tools. So and you filed a police report, and what did the police do? I am unaware what police did after that. Okay. Were you ever contacted by the police, Mr. Bottler? No, ma'am. Okay. Uh, did no, you steal her gardening tools? No, ma'am. Did you steal a chainsaw? No, ma'am. All right. You end up hiring another company. And what does that company do, uh, Ms. Vetter? I hired a friend of mine uh, to install at least a privacy fence because my uh, windows were directly across from my other neighbor's uh, windows. And we installed at that portion of the fence. It should be noted, ma'am, that... Uh, so you never Mark finished... Quoted, did you ever hire anybody to put a fence for your dogs? I ran no. out of money because Mark had uh, $1,700 of my money that were intended for that reason. And so that, there's no fence what, around right. the house right now? There is uh, a portion of the fence that I had money for. Okay. But, all right. Now, the new person who you hired, do you have a contract with that person? I don't have a contract with that person. He is just a friend who was helping me out. I paid him his hourly rate 
Okay. Uh, do you would, have would any? Do otherwise. you have any evidence that the posts? See, it's very clear that the relationship between you two could not continue because um, he feels like you're a accusing him of stealing stuff, even though you she was very nice about that. But then you add that to a video at the hospital, and he feels creeped out, and he doesn't want to go back. Do you ever express to her, listen, I think it's best if I don't go back, or do you just ghost, Mr. Bottler? Yes, ma'am. I came back to finish the job, but I thought about it. I'm going, well, So why did you come back or didn't me? you? I understand. You're creeped out. Yes, I got it. I just want to know what you did. So did you or didn't you ever come back after the text no. with the video? Okay. No. All right. Did you ever tell her I'm not coming back? And I'm not returning no. any of your money. All right. Well, then you can see why she's suing you. She wants a return of her money because you didn't finish putting anything in. And she paid you $1,700. And she wants you to return some of that because you didn't finish the job. What's your answer to that? That's not a problem, Your Honor. But she never contacted me after that. And I wasn't going to get a hold of her. I wasn't going to do that. All right. Well, then she sued you. So what do you think, yes, let me hear from you on what you think is an appropriate amount of money to return, because you never installed a fence, you never bought the materials to install the fence, or if you did, I'm not seeing any evidence of it, and maybe you returned it. So really, all the work that you did was to put in the posts, which she had the other guy pull out because she no longer had money to pay someone else to do it, and you weren't coming, and um, et cetera, et cetera. So what exactly do you think the work you did do was worth? I don't know. 900 bucks. Here's the thing. If I pay you $1,700 to put in a fence and you don't put in the fence, it should come as no surprise that I'm going to sue for my $1,700 back because that money's earmarked for me to put up a fence. If you do part of it and just never show up, you can't say, oh, she never called me to have me come back. I, I agree with you that it's a little strange to go to the hospital and then video the conversation with the person and then send it to you. It's hostile. And then here we are. So, but now I have to straighten it out because it's not as though you went back and she said, get off my property. You just never came back and never finished it. So I'm going to order you to return the $1,700 because there's no value whatsoever to the posts that the other guy ended up ripping out because they're uneven. Not even because they're uneven. I don't even have to get to the point of whether they're unevenly measured. I have to get to the point right. of Your there's Honor. no, no, don't talk. I have to get to the point okay. of there's no point in the posts because nobody came to finish and put up a fence. If you're not putting in the fence, the posts are just danger. Um, so they have to be pulled out. I'm ordering you to return the $1,700 that she paid you because you never went back to finish the job. And I'm ordering uh, you to pay her the $75 for removal of the posts. I am not ordering you to pay her for the chainsaw or the gardening tools. And I'm certainly not ordering you to pay her $2,845 just for sport because fraud, um, because you have absolutely no evidence. You have no more evidence today than you had on the day you wrote the text and asked about gardening tools. You have no idea where stuff is. So no, he's not going to pay you that. But I am ordering him to return the $1,775 that she's out for the fence that never happened. That's my court case. Thank you. So the plaintiff does prevail. She's going to get her money, the $1,775 back. Uh, let's talk to Mr. Boatler, the defendant. You can't be surprised at the judge's no, decision. No, not at all. Are you? No, not at all. It, it, was it just because she didn't call you to come back that you didn't finish it? I mean, why didn't you go back and finish it? Be because of the because of the text at the hospital. I mean, who does that? Who? You know what I mean? That's kind of Wait, creepy. Were you afraid of her? No, no, I wasn't afraid of her. I just didn't know what was going to happen next. What am I going to get accused of next? <laughs> you didn't know you had a former cop checking up on you. Anyway, look, uh, well, that's the way it ended up. You, <clears throat> but you got to give that money back. Sorry about it. Miss Vetter, um, you, you, you heard the judge. You're going to get uh, the $1,775 back. Plus, you get court costs. That's automatic. You'll get those back, too. Thank you. Um, Thank you didn't judge. get anything else. Are, are you OK with that? Can you live with that? I, I, I'm, okay, I'm okay with this. Uh, it's just that you never know whom you can deal with. But don't judge book by the cover. If you see uh, two ladies the grief-stricken, sick, with heartache of losing the father, and you can think you can take advantage of them, think again. You never know whom you're dealing with. Well, that's very true. All right.
Thank you, ma'am. You, uh, you have prevailed. Thank you very much. So, Doug, the key to this case is communication, that both parties have an obligation to communicate with each other, especially when the job is going sideways. If somebody just disappears and doesn't communicate as to why, that is going to create real problems for that person, and they will probably lose a lawsuit. What things do you disagree about? What things do you and I disagree about? Oh, God, it's just, there's too many. Oh, the let me count the ways. The category of things is just so <laughs> enormous. How could I ever winnow it down to a, Let's a, see. a subset that we could discuss? Politics? All the time. A lot? Yeah, all the time. Um, parenting? No, that's not true. Uh, we don't really disagree very much about parenting. No, as long as I get to be the good cop and you're the bad cop. Right. It's all good. Yes. You, it all works when out we do, fine. it's because you say that I'm too tough on them yeah, because sometimes. I'd like them to live within their means, right. uh, at, right. not my means, their means. Right. Right. So uh, you're constantly slipping them. Yeah. You, you say that I undermine you. You I'm, do. You undermine I'm, me, I'm but not, not, so not sure. very much, though. You, you really don't. I think we're, I think we're on the same page on parenting. I think so, generally. 